Welcome to the Porsche Taycan 4 Cross Turismo. This is the entry level version of the fully electric crossover, but that doesn't necessarily mean it misses out on technology, features or even performance. The Cross Turismo range in Australia comes with the Performance Battery Plus setup, consisting of a 93.4 kWh battery. This provides a range of 437 km in the 4 and is the same battery that powers the 4S and Turbo models. In fact, the 4 offers the longest range of all three variants. We really love the design of this thing. The video probably doesn't do it justice, but if you've seen one on the road, you'll know what we mean. It's very futuristic, curvy, and above all, consistent. A lot of new models coming out these days showcase a design language that seems to be all muddled up, throughout the car, in our opinion anyway. This isn't. The front matches the back, in other words. And of course, there is plenty of Porsche DNA in the detail. This example wears the optional off-road design package, which includes these cool little aero flaps at the ends of the side skirts, front apron and rear diffuser. The ground clearance is also raised 10mm at the medium level, as part of the standard air suspension package. One of the great things about the Taycan is that it offers two charging socket types. On the right side is a Type 2 socket for AC charging, at up to 22kW when optioned, while the left side is a CCS2 socket for rapid DC charging at over 270 kilowatts. These are the optional 20-inch turbo aero design wheels. They certainly match the car's overall modern and sleek theme. With 245-45 front tyres and fat 285-40s on the back, ensuring enormous grip in the corners. Take a look inside and you'll see the interior is very Porsche. Only here there are very few physical buttons. Really, only the start button involves a mechanical pressing movement. The rest of the car's functions are via three digital screens. The interior offers an excellent blend of characteristics. If you want to dive into the screens and play around with technology, you can. But the cabin is also traditional, with an awesome driving position, perfect steering wheel and ergonomic handles and storage areas. Passenger space is good but understandably sporty. Despite being a crossover, you do need to bend down to get in. It does feel very intimate and cosy though, making it the ideal touring companion. The rear seat can be had in either two or three seat form, although the company calls it a four plus one layout, which basically means the middle seat is really only designed for temporary use. There are climate vents in the back and optional separate climate control, as well as nicely contoured outer seats matching the fronts. This is the Taycan model you go for if travelling is on the agenda. The rear section offers 446 litres of space, or just over 1200 litres with the rear seats folded. And there's a handy spot for the AC charging cable under the floor. If that's not enough, there's also an 84 litre tub under the bonnet at the front. We found this very handy for carrying light shopping or smaller items, as they don't seem to roll about as much as in the back. Out on the road, we just can't get over how good this air suspension setup is. It does a remarkable job of absorbing bumps, even quite nasty ones, yet it doesn't lean or bottom out. It's like driving along on a sponge, but with no body roll and awesome steering precision. The suspension layout adopts an aluminium double wishbone setup at the front, and an aluminium multi-link system at the back. In short, this is easily the best handling fully electric road vehicle we've ever driven especially on regular roads. It is heavy, like pretty much all electric cars, but it doesn't seem to impact performance. The Taycan 4 is as quick as you could ever need on the road, and it's not so quick that it becomes intimidating. It's actually a lot of fun. This is what it goes like. 